welcome back. We're going to be doing now um, body code. Well, probably body code, maybe belief code, emotion code. We'll see what comes up. I'll be testing the whole way through with Erica, who's going through a bout of, I'm going to call it Meniere's disease. We'll see if that's what they termed it for her. But having, you know, this, well, I let her describe it. Okay. So anyway, uh, welcome. And we'll see what happens. We're going to release whatever energy we can for her. And we're going to move through the codes the best we can to hopefully help her to like get rid of this thing altogether so welcome erica thanks for doing this with me thank you um so tell us a little bit i called it meniere's disease because that's my dad had this right not meniere's because i forget why or how you get meniere's exactly shadow wants to say hello hi um, <laughs> um but the reason I got basically severe vertigo is because I had the most minor COVID after Christmas. I just had a sore throat, but none of my congestion would come out. So it obviously festered and caused a shift in the inner ear canal, which is your vestibular canal. Okay. So that is where all of my congestion must have went in caught so basically due to the virus it caused severe vertigo and i'm struggling okay. so let me just backtrack because i i, I want to i'm making notes as we do this so they're terming it severe vertigo yeah and um you said it's an it's an imbalance with a shift in your ear canal that created the uh dizziness i guess nauseous can you describe what it was were you like on your back where you couldn't move yeah, I mean, so it started last week, Saturday and Sunday. I just had waves of dizziness where I like had to sit down. And I do have a history of panic attacks, but I've been very stable. So I was like, there's nothing going on. I cannot pinpoint what could be triggering me right now. So Saturday and Sunday, I just had very minor waves of, I think I need to sit down, I need to lay down. And then Monday, I just couldn't. I, I had the fight or flight response. I laid down on the floor and I just knew that I couldn't get up and then started dry heaving, started getting very dizzy and it just progressed worse from there. So Tuesday morning when I got up, I could barely make it to try to go to the restroom and lay down. Couldn't open my eyes for about a day and a half, two days because of the dizziness, the nausea constant feeling of being on the ocean like a buoy in the ocean and it was just miserable I couldn't keep food down so she had to take me to the hospital or I would have dehydrated she couldn't take care of me you know I couldn't have anything down like was throwing up the medication that urgent care had tried to give me so between all the nausea the dizziness and keep my eyes open because I couldn't walk I ended up in the hospital and then managed to come home to get out of it but still wobbly still unsteady but maybe, okay you know and are you taking are they did they give you any sort of a medication for this so the hospital gave me pregnazone which i ran out of um and meclizine which is supposed to help with dizziness i believe okay and they did prescribe an as needed like valium but like two milligrams and when you're already on medication I just figured if I was desperate to like sleep or something I would try it but I haven't really felt the need for a two milligram you know extra boost unless I really needed it you know so okay so you know what let's um let's just take a moment of silence right and we're just going to call in you know God all that beautiful energy, all those healers to come in, right? To work with us, to facilitate your healing. Um, it just, I like just take a moment of silence for that, really calling in those energies. And now I also want to connect to be to your subconscious mind. I have your permission, of course, right? Yes, um, and uh, testing as Erica, Linda. Okay, so I'm testing as you. So we're going to start moving through this body code. But what I want to do is share my screen. So now you can see what I'm doing as I'm moving through it, you know, just kind of occupies you. Um, but I'm going to ask, so so we know what we're working with. 
we want to relieve as much as possible so that you start feeling yourself again, can move around freely, eat, take care of yourself. Um, but I want to see, is this something we need to work with, with the emotion code? No. So body code, I'm getting belief code, maybe not even any belief code right now. We need to really work on what's going on in the body. And a lot of that is energetic. So you'll see as I move through this, I'm sure you'll um, be able to follow along and probably be pretty fascinating <laughs> at, at what happens. So I'm going to be muscle testing. You'll hear me saying right side, left side, right? So I'm looking at the right side of the chart, the left side of the chart. I'll say what the things are. And when I get a, a strong yes, then I know that's what we're working with. And um, any questions you have along the way, just let me know and we'll see what happens here. So let's go. Something here to the right, uh, to the left, energy, circuits, and systems. So it's going to take us into the body. Uh, right side, left side, a disconnection in this system, going right into the system. Uh, something on the right side, circulatory, digestive, endocrine, immune, microbiome. So we're going into the nervous system. Peripheral notes, central. Okay. Right side, left side. So we're looking at the brain, and there's all aspects of the brain. Let me put my glasses on so I can see better. All right, so there's all these different parts, right? Now we're going to test exactly where we need to go. So are we looking to something that's going on here on the right, not on the left, in the brainstem, in a deep structure, right? So right side, left side, limbic system, basal ganglia, hypothalamus, amygdala. Okay. That's, that's, the, uh, that's the fight or flight part, right? Amygdala. Uh, and glands. Fight or flight reaction, if you sense danger, impulses to the hypothalamus, which activates the pituitary. So we're not going to go through all of the different physical aspects of it. We just want to release the energy, right? But if you have a question about something, usually there's a little explanation about that part that we're on. And I can always tell you. But symptoms of this imbalance are anxiousness, easily startled, difficulty sleeping, fast heart rate, digestive problems, high blood pressure, blood sugar, sorry. Okay, so... Is there anything we need to know about this? Anything we need to know about this at all? No. Is there something associated to it? No. So sometimes there's things associated to it, like an underlying energy we have to clear before we can clear the thing, but we can go right to clearing out this energy. Now, I'm basically going to take a magnet. I could use my hand. It's you know just taking this magnetic energy, and we have meridians in our body. If you ever had acupuncture, you'll be aware of that, right? Um, and there's a governing meridian starts at your lip goes all the way down your spine over your head over, down your spine and that sends you know messages to all the other meridians right so we clear the energy from that and it dissipates the energy out from wherever it needs to be so that's how we release energy as simple as that and then i'm always going to be thanking god because of course we want to do that and i like to add a little extra light so every now and then you'll see me doing that as well so first we're just going to use like three swipes like this and you can do it yourself but just sit there and relax you don't need to do anything two and three okay thank you god thanks for relieving that resetting that and we'll add extra love because why not i like to do that okay so look i got a yes that we that was reset right so let's do that okay yeah. So now we're going to go back to the beginning. Let me get rid of this thing here. Okay. Um, so that's the first thing it took us to. So where do we need to go now? Something to the right, now to the left. Energy back to circuits, which is always going to, not always, it's going to take us a lot of times into the physical body, but there's other aspects to that. And you'll see it as we go along. Anytime you have a question, Erica, just let me know. Okay. Okay. Uh, something on the right, now the left, disconnection. So we're going back into the body here. Uh, right side again, left side, no, right side, circulatory, digestive, endocrine, immune, microbiome, back to the nervous system. This time peripheral, no, it's central. Is it the brain? Yes, it is. So right side, left side, brainstem, another of the deep structures, to the right, to the left, limbic system, basal ganglia. Now we're at the hypothalamus. All right. Um, all right, so let's see. The bridge between the nervous system and the endocrine system. It's about the size of an almond, almond <laughs> located at the pituitary gland underneath the thalamus gland. So symptoms, insomnia, sensitivity to temperature, disruption of thirst mechanism, lots of different things that they, they always kind of give you a little list of 
what this is associated to. So we know we have this imbalance in the hypothalamus. Is there something else connected to this? No. So we can just uh, reset this one. Okay, so let's do this one. One. Okay. Two. <sighs> Three. All right. Thank you, Don. Thank you for that. A little extra love. Okay, so we got that. That's reset. Um, now, I'll feel energy when it's moving. You may feel it as well. Right? You might feel anything. You might just feel calm uh, or lighter, but you it could be anything. Like you've done energy healing before, you know, burping, yawning. I get these, I get this shake, like it shakes out. So we got that one. Reset. Um, how are you doing? Any questions? I'm good. Okay. So where do we go now? Uh, is it on the left? In it, oh, energy. Okay. That's fun. Uh, to the right. No, left. Post-traumatic offensive oh interesting category to the right now to the left curse okay nothing to be worried about i'll read you the description <laughs> because it's good to know this right some people think this evil thing with curses right it's a strong negative energy that either comes from an entity which is just an energy uh, from another person or from your own subconscious mind curses generally in intend to block, sabotage, or interfere with your life, healing, your connection to the divine, or in, in some sort of a way. So a curse is similar to any other emotional energy, such as a trapped emotion. So a trapped emotion is like a fistful of energy just lodged in your body somewhere, or in your aura, in anywhere. Um, curses may be created by the subconscious mind, like you could create it yourself by simply the expression of negative feelings towards you or from even outside somebody else might have a fleeting thought that that energy sticks to you like they thought something not good about you right in some way i don't like her hair today i mean who knows it could be not a big deal is what i'm saying it's just a it's just a negative energy that gets stuck on you um so we may need to know more about it we might not um do we need to know something more about this curse no okay so we can just release it Let's get rid of the curse. And again, it's the same thing. We just use this to release the energy. So let's do that right now. One, two, oh yeah, that felt good. And three. No, oh, thank you. Thank you, God. All right. Release. Okay. Does this seem weird? Yawning. Very good. Does it seem weird to you, Erica? No, I'm used to okay. being in this world. Okay, good. Okay, good. Uh, and again, of course, anytime you have a question, you just ask. And a lot of times, if we need to know something about it, and I guess I'll explain this better when we get to it, uh, your intuition might just give you a thought, pops in your head. You're like, oh, it's probably this thing, and I'll test it, right? So far, we haven't had to find out any details about anything. So something more we can do. Right side, left side, no, we're in the right side this time. A pathogen, a misalignment. Okay, on the right, no, left, in the system. So we're going back to the system just from a different different, uh, different point of entry with the misalignment. Okay, so we need something here to the right side. Right side, no, left side, integumentary, urinary, skeletal, muscular, respiratory. No, we have something with the reproductive system. Now, the funny thing is, you might be like, well, what does that have to do <laughs> with what's going on in my head, right? You just never know. Like the, the man who came up with this whole thing, I'll give this quick story for anyone listening who's never seen this before or know anything about it. Um, so a woman came to him. He was a chiropractor. And a woman came to him because she heard he can do these things and heal stuff that other doctors and people weren't able to heal. So she went from migraines. And she went to him, the migraines went away. But then they came back, they came back the next week and he did it, whatever he had to do again, they went away. And this happened like two or three times. And then she's in again. And she, he's like, because everything came to him through like pretty much downloading it from God, right? So he's like, all right, God, what am I not seeing here? What am I not getting to? And the message she got was you have to adjust her little toe, something like that. He adjusts that toe and she never had the migraines again. So how does it make any sense? You can't make sense because it's energy. It's energy is just trapped however it gets trapped. And we're just here for the show along on the journey, releasing as much as we can. So 
Let's see what we get. Reproductive system, because there's different parts to that. Female. Okay, on the right, left, uterus. Something with the uterus. All right. Um, so we know about the uterus. You could have discomfort in the low back, lower abdomen, discomfort after intercourse, discomfort in the left hip, infertility. All right. So we're going to know what it is. There's really nothing to decode, like to find an answer to, but we can see if there's an association. So with the misalignment with the uterus, is there something associated to it? And again, there isn't. So we're just going to be realigning this, like correcting the misalignment. Okay. One. Yep. I just want to correct the misalignment with, oh, the uterus. That felt good. Okay. Good. Thank you, God. Angels. All those beautiful energies working with us. Thank you. Okay. All right. So we're good. We realigned that one. All right. What more will we get? To the right, to the left. No, we're back on the right again. Path, another misalignment. Okay. Right side, no, left side, back into the system. Okay. Is it the right? It's the left. Tegmentary, urinary, skeletal, muscular, respiratory, reproductive system. Do you have anything going on that you know of with reproductive system? Other than I work in reproductive ish. <laughs> <laughs> no, but anything with your own body that you've been experiencing? Not with reproductive. Not that you know of. Okay. So, and these are just misalignments, energy. So you might not really feel much about it, or you might, depending on if it's severe, you might feel a lot around it. All right. So here we go. It's just however it's connecting. We've been in the brain, we had a curse. Now we're in the reproductive system, and who knows where else it's going to take us. So, uh, this time to the right, okay, ovaries, vagina, mammary glands. So let's just ask, are we looking at the right side, left side? Okay. And so anything else we need to know about this? No. Is there something associated with it? Oh, look at that. We have an association on this one. So I won't be able to realign the mammary gland left side yet until we find what what's connected to it uh right right side left side right side pathogen misalignment okay right left system okay let's just see reproductive yeah uh, female right side ovaries okay so now we have misalignment ovaries and i'll send you these notes afterwards are we looking at the right the left so this is also a left side thing okay is there anything we need to know about this and is there something else associated? No, just somehow the energy between these two things are misaligned. Um, so can we just uh, realign? Yeah. All right. So let's do that. One. Okay, good. We're realigning right now the ovary on the left side. Two. <coughs> Three. All right. Okay. And then add some more. Huh? Good. So we got that. And now we want to. Left side mammary gland, we want to realign this to two and three. Thank you. Thank you, God. Add some extra love. And did we get that one too? Yes. Okay, so they're both realigned. Now, you could have, like, I'm missing one of my ovaries. And by now, at my age, they're probably all shriveled up anyway. But I might still be taken to it because there's energy around that area or around the thing that's not even there anymore. Um, so, you know, we just go where it takes us. Okay, so we got those. Something more, yes, of course. Right, no, left, energy, back to energy. Uh, to the right, to the left, post-traumatic offensive in the mental area. I'll describe each of these as we land on them. Uh, on the right, no, on the left, a will to, no will to. So a broadcast message. So you know how law of attraction, law of attraction works, right? Energy you send out, it's energy you get back. So there's a, a chart of messages. They're not supporting you. It's energy that you're sending out. Like you're the radio tower and you're sending this thing out there. And of course, you're going to get back what you send out in some way, shape, or form. So we're going to find out what yours is here. So we have six of those. So are we looking for, and, and don't even bother reading them. We're just going to find it. Is it in A, B, it's in C, on C, even C2. So in the C2 area, we have disregard me, disrespect me, don't look at me, don't trust me, 
fight me. So you have some fight me energy. <laughs> right now your body's fighting you, right? It's fight me energy. Uh, you could, you know, I mean, depends on how it's coming around. If someone, if the issue we were having with someone was not being able to develop good relationships, that energy could come in the way, right? Fight me. But this is more likely your body. This does have to do with her, her body fighting her. Yeah. Right. Okay. Anything we need to know and understand about it? No. Uh, is there something else associated? <clears throat> no. We can just clear it. Get rid of fight me energy. Right? One. Okay. <laughs> Two. Oh, nice deep breath. Three. All right. Can we release that? Yes. It's a common one. Fight me energy. All right. So that's released. Something more. Um, now, do you have, <coughs> I don't know if I told you to make sure you had like some water with you. Like, are you, do you know if you're high, well hydrated? Stop. Okay, good. You don't need to drink it now. Only when you feel like you do, right? Just I want to make sure you stay hydrated. Uh, well, let's ask, do you need to drink right now? No, you're good. All right, so something more. Uh, right side, left side, back to energy. Right side this time, allergy or intolerance, emotional. So it's going to take us into trapped emotions. Uh, on the right, on the left, a trapped emotion. Now, there are many types of trapped emotions. Some of them are inherited. Let's see what we get. Uh, right, left, prenatal, preconception, inherited. So this is really cool. Um. So someone, some ancestor had something going on and they trapped this emotion and it's been passed on through the, through the generations. Um, I know, and is what's really cool is when you, when I clear this for you, we're clearing for everyone. If your mom has it, if your sister has it, uh, if your dad has it, right. If they're your grandparents, you know, all down the line, your aunts, your uncles, whatever, whoever picked it up, it'll clear from everybody at the same time. And I'll do 10 of these swipes. And a cool story about this is that because um, I work on my husband and my son, I was working on some issue. I think it was finances or something for myself. I had all this inherited stuff come up, right? And then my son's like, oh, I want to do that. I want to work on the finance stuff. So I work on him. He had inherited stuff come up, but only from my husband, not from me, because I already cleared it. So he didn't have anything from me, which to me, I'm like, oh, this is so great. It keeps proving to me how it works. I mean, I've done that where he had a trapped emotion of, um, it was inherited and it was depression on the mom's side, my side. Right? I teach karate too. And so I'd give him this session early in the day. I go teach karate and while I'm teaching karate, all of a sudden, like something lifted and I felt like great. I'm like, what the heck is that? I forgot I gave him this session and then I cleared that emotion. And I'm thinking, did I work on myself? What? Then I remembered I worked on him. I cleared inherited depression on my side. I'm like, oh, thank you, God, for proving to me how this stuff works. So just a cool little story about what, you know, emotions and how they can be there. You can have a virus that's inherited. There's a lot of different things, a sickness memory that's inherited that could affect you now in this life. If you look at this chart, you can have a preconception trapped emotion came from some other timeline. Some, you know, before you took your body, you got this. It could be prenatal when you're in your mom's womb. It could be shared, like say 9-11. Something happened, and at the same time, people trapped fear or whatever these different emotions were. Common, regular, trapped emotion. Something happened. You didn't process the energy. It stuck with you. Or absorbed. You pick it up from someone else. So I think you're pretty empathic. You could pick things up from other people, right? So, And usually you pick it up because you're at a vibrational match to the frequency of what they're dealing with. Anyway, many different ways trapped emotions can come in. And the body code will bring you to that if you need to. So we have this inherited trapped emotion. Long story, but it's good information. Let's find out what it is. So here's the emotions chart. Will we find the trapped emotion in A or B? Okay, is it odds? It's even two, four, six. All right, so I look down there. Is it pride, shame, shock, unworthy? There's a trapped emotion of unworthy. Okay, was this inherited on your mom's side? Nope, this came from your dad's side. Did he inherit it? Yep. From his dad? Nope. From his mom. And did she inherit it? Yep. Uh, was it from the mom? No, it was from the dad. All right. And does it go back more than 10 generations? OK. 
Okay, more than 20? No, more than 15? No. Okay, so between 10 and 15, 10, 11, 12, 13 generations of some trapped unworthy energy. Um, so if you had kids, I would ask if your kids got it, but we don't have to ask if all these different people have it, right? We're just going to clear it for everybody. Well, let's ask if, I know you have a sister, Nicole, so let's ask if she got, did, did Nicole inherit this as well? No. Okay. So you got this. You're going to release it for whoever. Okay. Can we do that now? Yeah. All right. 10 swipes on this one. Okay. One. Okay. Two. Ooh, nice little goosebumps there. Three. Okay. Four. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you. Five. Six, thank you for releasing this for everyone who's holding it. Seven, eight, <coughs> nine, <coughs> ten. Oh, let's give an extra two just for fun. All right, thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you, thank you. All right, release for everyone. Good. You feel anything on that? Just relaxing. Okay, good. Anytime you need to drink, drink. So. Okay, so we have something more here. Yeah. Uh, is it on the right? No, on the left. In energy. Okay, right side, left side. Post traumatic. No, offensive. Mental. Back to this area. Uh, right, no, left. A will to. A no will to. You have no will to whatever. Whatever we see on this chart. Uh, um, you know. Sometimes you see no will to succeed, no will to be healthy, whatever. It might be anything. So we're in this. We're going to find it, seven of them. So is it in A? It's in B on. Is it one, three, five, seven? B7. Is it no will to improve? No, to be with others. No, to be well. So, of course, we want to get rid of that, right? No will to be well. You're like, what? <laughs> I want to be well. So we want to get rid of all of these energies that could come up. But now let's ask if there's anything we need to know about how this came about, when it, any details, when it came about, where it came from. Do we need to know anything at all? No, we don't need to know. Your subconscious mind is like, no, I know what it's all about. Just release it. She doesn't need to know the details. But sometimes your subconscious mind wants you to recall whatever went on. Um, but for right now it says no. Um, is there something else that is associated to this? And there isn't. So we can just release it. No will to be well. Goodbye. One. Oh, yes. Good. Two. Three. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's released. And you know what? Let me just write that down. And I want to do this. I'm going to download you. So we got rid of no no will to uh, be well. So let's download you with what it feels like to be well, to allow yourself to heal, to have that come to you easy, whatever it is. I'm just going to do whatever comes to my, whatever comes in. All right. So I just want to download into every single cell of your body in the highest and best way for you throughout all time, space, realities, all timelines, all planes of existence, all dimensions, everywhere and in every part of you, just downloading what it feels like to be well, to be open to receiving healing, to be able to heal easily, to be able to move through anything that might turn up like what's going on right now and be able to move through healing your body, taking yourself to whatever comes next for you, learning anything that needed to be learned, releasing anything that needed to be released, and really just soaking in your openness to wellness. <sighs> All right, good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Whew, a little extra love there. Okay, so downloaded what was it um uh, just uh opening to be, i'm gonna say opening to uh, be well and allow healing i'll just say that you know all the words i said doesn't matter we know what the intention is and that'll just remind you all right so now we did that we did that let's go
Is there more? Yeah. Um, okay. To the right, not to the left. And energy. Okay. Right side, left side, post-traumatic offensive. Back to the mental area. Right side. Oh, a memory field. Okay. So some sometimes we don't need to know what they are. I'm going to ask. But have you had this type of thing happen before? No. It's the first time experiencing this. Like other than similar to panic attacks, way different in my opinion. Yeah. Okay. So this is something different. Um, all right. So let's ask, do you need to know what, so memory field is like this cloud of energy, this memory that's kind of following. It's like the energy of that memory is always there and it may directly relate. It may not relate. You may need to know. And if you don't, we're just going to clear it. So let's ask. Uh, and a lot of times it might be the memory of that same sickness. That's why I was asking you that first. So do we need to know details around this memory field? So we do need to know something about it. Now, remind me your age. I am 34. 34. Okay. Um, because I may have to find an age. So unless something popped in your head, some memory of something, anything pop in your head just now? The only thing I can relate this to, like I said, is having similar reactions to the panic attacks that I had had, you know, so often, but. Okay. Well, let's ask, is this memory field directly related to the panic attacks that you've experienced? No. Okay. But we need to know something. All right. So let's find an age, this memory field. So did this occur between the ages of one and 30? Yeah. I mean, this stuff can go right back. I had to clear stuff from age one. <laughs> I don't even remember it. I had to ask, when I had to know, I had to ask a lot of questions to figure it out. Okay, so one in, so so you're 34. Let's do it this way. Is it between one and 20? Yes, one and 20. Uh, between one and 10? Okay. One and five? No, so five and 10. So is it five, six, seven, eight? At age eight. Now you might not remember anything, but if anything popped in, oh, age eight. Oh my God, that's when, let me know. I'll test it. At the moment, I got nothing. Okay, so we'll ask some questions. Do we need to know something more? Yeah. Um, is this something that occurred within at school? Is this something that occurred at school? No. Something that occurred within the family, within home life. Yeah. So something with, let's say home life. All right. Um, do we need to know any specific person this occurred with? No. Do we need to know some something about it? Yeah. So at age eight, I don't know, you have any memories of like big fights, getting in trouble? Uh, getting getting hurt, like anything, age eight come to you. Oh, but let's ask this. Did this have anything to do with some kind of injury to the body? No. So is this like an emotional upset? Okay. Maybe tons of that stuff. All right. Do we need to know something more about it? No. So something to do with the home life, something in the family, something at home, something emotional, some kind of upset. All right. Is it? Do we need to know any more details about it? No. Okay. So that's enough. Something happened at age eight. <laughs> I was a sensitive then, child. <laughs> say, that, say that again. That I was a sensitive child. <laughs> okay. So never know. I was sensitive and stubborn. I had lots of stuff. <laughs> anyway, so something went on here. Do we need to know anything more? We don't. But is there something associated to it? And there isn't. So we can just clear the memory field. So whatever we brought up, even though we didn't get any details, it's enough for your subconscious mind to be like, okay, we can wipe it out now. All right, so one, oh, yeah, that's good. Two, three. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Good. All right, release the memory field. Okay, we have more. Uh, right side, left side, energy circuits back to the body, maybe. Oh, right side, organ, gland, no, energy body. Okay. On the right, on the left, spirit body, aura. So something with the aura. Probably have to do a reset. And sometimes there's associations with that. And you know what the aura is the energy about you. So anything else we could know here? No. Is there something associated? Yes. Okay. So before we can reset that, we need to something else. Okay. Back to the beginning. Something more. Okay. Right side, left side, energy. Okay, to the right, to the left, post, okay. mental area, on the right, nope, on the left, a will to, so there's some kind of will to, 
attached to it. All right, is the will to in A? No, it's B odds. Um, is it B one, three, five? So B5, is it the will to be abused? No. To punish or harm yourself? No. To hate yourself? No. To suffer? Some, some will to suffer. Okay. Do we need to know any details around where this came about? No, we don't. So is there something else associated? Yes, there is. So we can't release that one yet until we find what else. So sometimes you can go down a rabbit hole a whole bunch. And then you clear the bottom one. They basically all release. But I like to go through each one of them. And we'll do that. Uh, back to the beginning. Something more. Uh, right side, left side. Energy. Okay, it's energetic. Left side, post-traumatic. Okay, to the right, not to the left. A physical trauma. Okay, any particular physical trauma come to mind? Right? It, anything that was like, um, it's a vibrational frequency that can get stuck in your body during intense trauma that is physically shocking or stressful. Right, it could be. It, it becomes stuck if it's extreme and the body's already imbalanced in some way. So, like an injury, a fall, car accident, illness, surgery, anything pop in your head regarding that physical trauma? No, because even lately I've been saying how I've been coming up with these random things. Like I started having sciatica pain on and off. So it's like I always I have these little random things that always come about, and I'm always like man, can I just break my arm and it resets and I'm done with it, you know? so Oh, don't don't wish that, please. I, I, cancel I, that. Cancel the universe. <laughs> but I, get I, understand, all what, I little, understand what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, but I get all these little things and, I'm, and it's like they stick with me because they're Ooh. not. You can't okay. like hardcore cure sciatica. You can't cure whatever, these little bits that seem to come my way. Right. But if you understand that everything's energy then amazing things can happen, right? So if medical stuff isn't doing it, then possibly this is the route then to, to release a lot of this stuff because it's just energy that's stuck stuck and causing problems within the system. So we have a physical trauma. Do we need to know specifically when this physical trauma came about? All right, we don't need to know, but I thought I'd ask in case something we could question, whatever comes to your mind. Now, so we don't need, do we need to know anything else? No. Uh, is there something else associated to this? No. So the physical trauma was the beginning of whatever this was. We don't have to find out how old you were because we're not going to take the time. I want to get more things done. If we don't need to know, I'm just going to keep going unless you want to know. And then I could figure it out. Do you want to know? No, nothing. Just release it. Yeah. Okay. So can we release this physical trauma now? Yeah. Okay. One. Letting go of this trauma. Whenever it occurred, just letting it go. Okay, three. Thank you, God. Thank you. And now we also want to uh, release this will to suffer. All right, giving that up, sending it to the light, letting it go. I'm going to do a whole bunch of swipes on that. We don't want this energy. Don't need it. Don't want to keep sending that out there. Thank you. Thank you, God. And now the aura. Let's reset your aura. One, two, three. Yeah, just this beautiful. It just feels good. I'm just going to do a few more. Nice, peaceful feeling. Okay, good. So we got the trauma. Release the suffer. And reset the aura. Yeah, we got it all. Okay. All right. What else can we find? Uh, to the right, to the left. Energy. You see, a lot of energetic stuff is coming up here. Uh, I imagine we might, because there might be quite a bit to do, more than maybe we can do today, right? Um, but we're getting out the things that are in the way so that maybe I'm assuming, and I don't know, I never know what's going to happen. We might be going back into the body and adjusting things so that everything's flowing properly, right? But for right now, we're in energy again. And we're on the right, allergy or intolerance. This is an interesting area too. Right side, idea allergy. You have an allergy to an idea. Sounds right. <laughs> and. There's a chart, right? Because, you know, they spend a lot of time developing this and finding out the frequencies of all these different things and how to release them. It's, it's so amazing. All right. So we have seven, seven uh, rows here. So will we find this idea allergy? Is it in A, B, C? Okay. Odds. No. Evens. Two, four, six. C6. 
Okay. Is it curiosity, contentment, gratitude, excitement, success, wealth, success, idea, allergy to success? Now, right away, you think success like money, business. Well, maybe success is health, you know? Being able to get rid of all these different things that pop up. You were just saying these little annoying, nagging things that people don't really have a solution for, right? So we could ask, well, do we need to know anything about it? No, we don't. But is is it is it related to the second part of what I was saying, like success with her, um, healing her body? Yeah, okay. I'm going to say healing. It doesn't even have to be the body. It could be just emotional healing, right? Yeah, body, emotional, the whole, the whole works. Okay, so we want to get rid of that. Anything else we need to know about it? No. Is there something associated to it? No. So we can just release. Actually. We're going to correct your connection to the idea, right? The faulty, it's like there's a faulty connection to what it means to have success with the physical body, at least, right? So we want to correct that. That's what we're going to do. One. Okay. Two. <sighs> Three. All right. Reconnecting you and your ability to be in this space of success, to have it, to create it, to call it in. Do we do that? Yes. Okay, so that's corrected. Deconnection. Idea yeah, allergy. Okay, let's find the next thing. Uh, something more. Okay, so to the right, no, to the left. Energy. Right side. Allergy, emotional. Oh, reverberation. Whole new category. So on the right, on the left, seeking heart, current set. So it's a sickness memory. We talked about memories of sicknesses, but let's just see. Do we need to know specifics around this particular sickness memory? We don't even need to know. Do we need to know any details around it? No. Okay. Is there something else associated? No. So I'm going to wipe out the sickness memory, whatever it is, from any one of these things. One. Two. <coughs> okay. Three. <coughs> I mean, it could even be having strep throat when you were seven you know what i mean okay it's released didn't need to know the details but we released it okay so something more yes we look in here right no left right no left energy again is it left side post-traumatic offensive back to the mental category how about left side yep uh will to know what to so we have another broadcast message Get some space here. Move this stuff up. All right. Let's find what this message is. Uh, is it in A, B, C, odds? No, even. So C even, C2, C4, C6. Is it resist me? Take away my power. Tease me. Treat me like a child. Yell at me. So we have take away my power, right? My power to heal myself, right? We need to know any details around it. No. When it came about, anything like that? No. Uh, is there something associated? No. Okay. So let's get rid of that message. Right? We're going to wipe all this stuff out. One. Two. Thank you, God. And three. I just get really excited wiping out negative energies. <laughs> all right. Because they have, they have a direct effect on everything about us. All right. So that's released. Okay, good. What's next? more yeah uh is it on the left no it's on the right a pathogen a misalignment right. uh right left in the system no a common misalignment okay um on the right side left side no right side uterus stomach fascial distortion okay let me write it down All right, so fascia is connective tissue found throughout the whole body and the skin, wrapping around the bones, around the heart, around every organ. It's been found to have an, an electric conductive uh, effect, and it's like another method of communication used by the body. So fascia can become distorted or twisted due to emotional or physical stress or trauma of any kind, right? So that's why it's fascial distortion. 
And usually there's an underlying cause, so we might find there's more to it. Maybe there won't be. So let's just ask. Uh, anything else we need to know about this? No, but is there something associated? And there is, right? So we're not going to be able to uh, correct the distortion until we find out what else is coming up. Let's attach to this. There's something more. Yeah. Okay. There's an association here. So let's go back to the beginning. Uh, well, we find it out here to the right, not on the right notes, on the left energy in the circuits. Okay. Right side, left side. Yeah, because we had nothing else we had to know. Any, there weren't any details we needed to know. Okay. So right side, left side, a disconnection in the system. And maybe we're going to find out. Uh, on the right, left no. So it's on the right. Circulatory system, digestive system, endocrine, immune, microbiome. All right. Let me write that down. All right, trillions of more, what it is is trillions of microorganisms that inhabit every individual, including bacteria, fungi, parasites, other organisms in the average, and other organisms. Um, the total amount which, which rivals or even surpasses our own cells. So this is like tons of trillions, trillions, microorganisms. Um, what do we, it can affect our moods, communication, Communicates with our brain, influences our immunity. Microbiomes can bypass the brain, communicating directly to the enteric nervous system in the gut, affecting the way our digestive system functions. Uh, I might as well read all of this, right? So research on microbiomes and how, difference, how differences in people's microbiomes can affect their health is ongoing. All right. Well, you know what? Let's go on to... Microbiome is a collective consciousness that can be communicated with through muscle testing, right? And ask questions, which is what we're doing here. We can do more. If we need to know more, we're going to ask. So the microbiome itself can have trapped emotions, as well as any other energetic imbalance that the body can harbor. And these can even be inherited. All right. So we know that there's an imbalance in some way. So anything else we can figure out about that? No. But now, Let's just see. Let me move me over there. Uh, yeah, there's no no specific things, but there, is there anything else that we need to understand about it now? Is there something else associated? No, not even an association. So we're going to reset this microbiome, and then we're going to correct that fascial distortion. Okay. One, two, <sighs> yep, three. All right, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Okay, good. And now let's correct that fascial distortion. Two, three. Thank you for that. And just give a whole lot of extra love and light in there. Okay, good. So we got that. All right, so we reset that. We corrected the other one. That's all there was to it. I thought there might be more. But anyway, so something more we can do. And there's probably going to be quite quite a lot to do, but I like to ask every now and then just... Who knows, by some miracle, we get it quick, right? <laughs> okay, and that happens. So now there's more. So we're looking for something here to the right side, yes. And now we're looking at a pathogen, okay? Is it physical? No, it's energy of a pathogen. So whichever pathogen we land on in the next chart, it's just the energy of it. Your body, if it's a virus, your body already cleared the virus, right? But the energy stuck behind. So we just have to kill the energy. I mean, if it was physical, it's the same thing. We kill the energy, and then the phys it can't survive without the energy. You have you have it where the body took care of it, but the energy was still left behind. What kind do we have, right? No, on the left, mold, a virus. All right. Oh, I got goosebumps. Okay. So there's a virus. Um, these things could be inherited, which is pretty cool. So... Do we need to know some more details around this virus? Yeah. So the first one I always ask is, was this inherited? Yeah. This was inherited. So somebody had this. They were healed or weren't healed, but that energy stayed there. So was this inherited? Was this passed on to you from your mom? Okay, so your mom's side. And um, did she inherit it? No. This was passed on by your mom. Did she inherit it? No. So this came directly from your mom. Okay. 
doesn't even go back any further than that. Uh, let's ask, did your sister receive this? No. Okay. So we can just clear it then. Yep. Ten swipes. You and your mom no longer have this virus energy trapped in their body. Okay. One. Uh, yeah. Good. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. <coughs> seven. Eight. Nine. Ooh, okay. Ten. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit. Thanks for taking that energy. Adding a whole lot of love in its place. And we got it. All right. Released. Okay, cool. Okay, more. Uh, right, no left energy. Okay, to the right, to the left. Post traumatic. Okay, right side. This is a recovery interference. I'll read that for you. You know, you, your body didn't get to fully heal from something. It didn't fully recover. Uh, develops from the body's recovery process from either a minor or severe injury or illness is interrupted and the body is unable to return to its balanced state. So having recovery interference could potentially interfere with your normal body processes and could create frustrating symptoms like chronic or recurring inflammation, scar tissue, muscle spasms. Um, it says recovery interference energy may potentially encourage the body to initiate a healing process over all over again. By releasing it, your body can continue to, re, to do whatever it didn't finish doing in the first place. Uh, and one result of this could include inflammation, which is generally a normal, important process along with, yeah. So if the, if the process starts up again, because it was, inter, if it needs to, right, your body will do it if it needs to, and say it was something that an injury in your knee or something, you might have some swelling while it goes through that process. Yeah. So let's see if we need to know anything about it. Do we need to identify more? No. Okay. Do we need to know when, what, you know, what, what this was all about? No. So do you want to ask any particular questions about anything? No, it just brings up, it sounds like all my chronic little pains that come up. Okay. So... So we'll just ask this, is this, is this directly related to one of these specific chronic things that went on with you? Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, so that's pretty cool because it may, maybe it has its own domino effect of releasing this and may, it'll release more of that if more of that exists with those repeating things. So anyway, do we need to know more? We don't need to know more. So can we just uh, release this? Yeah, we're, that's what we're going to do. All right, let's release this energy. One, okay, two, <sighs> interference energy, three. All right, good. And let's just really load you up with some extra love there. <sighs> okay, good. So uh, we release that. There's something more. Pathogen. We have another pathogen. Uh, energy of a pathogen again. Okay, what kind? Right side this time. Left is no, so it's a right. Parasite, fungus. It's a bacteria. So it's just the energy of. Whatever it was is gone. The energy remains. Fever, fatigue, rashes, muscle aches, digestive upset, odor. These are some of the things that could turn on from that. Do we need to know details, anything specific that we need to know about this? No. So it's not going to be inherited. Inherited? No. Because we don't need to know anything. Um, all right. So then um, can we just release it? Yep. Yeah, let's release it. One. Okay. Two. And three. All right. Good. How are you feeling? All right, we're going we're, we're gonna to go on some more. I know you have somewhere to be in a little bit, but I have the time. I can put more time into this if you like. Yeah, I have some time. I have some time, yeah. All right, let's do a little bit more. I have time. Okay. All right, so what else do we have here? Something here to the right side, to the left side. Back to energy. So we're bouncing around between the body and energy and all this stuff. Uh, right side, okay, another allergy or intolerance. 
not the right, it's the left, a physical intolerance. No, now you have an, an idea intolerance. You don't have an you don't have a tolerance for some idea, which we're gonna find on the chart. What is this idea? Okay, is it in A, B? So B, C, no, B. The odds, evens, two. No, not two. Four, six. Okay, six. Is it to leaving your family? Oh, moving forward. Money in general, spending money, a person, a location. Moving forward. Well, having these things happen. Look what happened. You were like, you're on, on your back, right? You can't even move. <laughs> nope. So this plays directly into that. Do we need to know any details about how it came about, when it came about, anything like that? No. We can release it? Yes. So there's nothing else, anything associated? No. So we can release it. Let's get rid of that one. One, two, okay, and three. Ooh. All right, that's released. And you know, I want to do another download because I just popped in my head to do a download. All right, so let's download for you what it feels like to that it's this feeling of knowing that it's safe for you to move forward, that you're prepared to move forward, that you're ready to move forward, that you can walk through your day to day, taking each and every step, moving forward to all of the things that you want to create in your life, right? Leaving all this other chronic stuff behind you, right? Like just totally releasing the energies that created that and just downloading this new way of being, right? Of what it feels like to be free to move forward, to be safe moving forward, to have confidence moving forward. When I download all of this into every cell of your body in the highest and best way for you throughout all time, space, realities, all planes of existence, all dimensions, all timelines, just taking it into everything and every bit, every aspect of you. All right, good. Thank you, thank you, thank you, God. All right, so we downloaded. Uh, I'm going to say what it feels like to move forward. To be free to move forward. Never remember all the words that come in. All right, so we got that. All right, so we're good? Yeah. All right, so now uh, something more. Right, left, energy. Ooh, circuit systems. Okay, to the right, to the left, disconnection in the system. Um, something here on the right, it's on the right again, left, no, so it's on the right. Circulatory, digestive, endocrine, immune, microbiome, so back to nervous system. Peripheral nervous system, so it's right side here. Okay, and is it autonomic? No, somatic nervous system. Okay. Somatic nervous system is responsible for carrying information from the spinal cord and brain to the rest of the body and vice versa. It's a two-way communication. So something is off in this area. Um, so do we need to determine which side this is on? Yeah, so is it right side, left side? All right. And is there anything else we can know? No. Is there something associated to it? No. All right, good. So we're just going to reset. The somatic nervous system on the left side. Okay, one. Okay, good. Two. Three. All right, thank you. Let's reset. Good. How are you feeling? Good. All right. Uh, something here to the right, no to the left. Back to energy. Uh -huh. Right, left, post-traumatic, sensitive, mental. Okay, right side, memory field programming. Okay, something on the right, on the left, despair anchor. It's like a single belief. If we had belief code, then we'd get into this whole system of, of beliefs, but we're at despair anchor. There's a chart here. And when we find these things, it's like that or something similar to it, because there's only so many words and you can attach to energies here. All right, so now. Are we looking for something here in uh, A, B, or C odds? Uh, so evens, two, four, six. C, six. Is it there's not enough? No. Uh, they despise me. 
they're ruining it. No, this is too much. I probably That's felt like that a mm -hmm. lot, right? That very accurate. Yeah. So we want to release that because you want to, you don't want to keep drawing in things that give you too much to handle, right? I'm already feeling goosebumps on this one. But do we need to know how this came about? Anything we need to understand about it? No. Is there something associated? No. So we're going to wipe this one out, right? This is too much energy. Just letting it go. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. Okay. So that's release. You know what I want to do? Just because we can. Let's um, let's go to the belief code. Let's ask for a positive belief to replace that negative one of this is too much. Uh, Will we find it? This is a whole different area. Beliefs. Uh, right side, left side, divine. Okay. On the right. No, on the left, faith in God. Divine in God. You want a positive statement. Is it in section one to section three? Okay, and there's 10 of those. So is it an odd and even? Is it two, four, six, eight, ten? I'm always connected to God. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna give that to you. I am always connected to God, right? In other words, that healing is always there for you. Just have to communicate, you no? Know? Ask for it, uh, at, you know, gratitude everywhere, thanking God, and, and just keeping that, knowing that you have this direct line of communication, right? It's always there for you. So that's what we're doing now. We're going to download this. Yeah. Does that, how does that feel? Good one. Okay. So let's download. I am always connected to God, taking that one into every single cell of your body in the highest best way for you. They're all time, space, reality, all timelines, all kinds of existence. It's really so all dimensions, just soaking it in to all aspects of you, owning it. All right, good. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Like you can just keep talking to God and say, you know, thank you for helping me move through this for me to be able to, whatever it is that this is bringing up for me to learn or to release, like we're releasing right now. Thank you. And thank you for the continued support like heal of healing and getting me through this and moving forward, right? Able to move forward with whatever it is you want to create in your life, you know? Leaving this stuff behind, old news, old energy, stepping into the true you, the Erica who can do whatever she puts her mind to. That's basically what we want to do here. So. And let me tell you, the energy on the whole planet's changing. We're moving into a whole new way of being where that's going to be so easy to tap into, right? Getting rid of the dark energies, the light is coming to the planet, which allows us to be able to be more of our own light, right? Light attracts light. Light. Light works mm -hmm. both ways. Okay, so we got that. That was fun. I like that. Now, time is it? 120. So let's just do a few more and then we'll leave it at that. So here we go. Um, back to the beginning. So we're going to spend like 10 minutes tops right now. What can we do that would give you the most relief? You know, we'll, we'll continue with another session, but we want right now, what can give you the most relief um, today? Okay. So right side, left side, energy, back to energy. Uh, on the right, not left, post-traumatic, defensive, no, nope, in the mental area. Uh, to the right, no left, will to, no will to. So now it's a no will to. Okay, what do you have no will to do? Uh, seven, right? So is it A, B, odds, evens, two, four, six, B, six. No will to obey, no will to be powerful, be protected, be powerful. I love it because we just came off of I'm connected to God. So what does God give you? The power, because you are the light. So no will to be powerful. No, no, no. We get rid of that. All right. That's what it is. Where, where was this? Yeah. Be powerful. Okay. Let me just take that away. All right. Anything that we need to know about this will, where it came from? Do we need to know? Don't need to know. Associations. No. All right, let's just wipe it out. Yep, just wiping it out. Ooh, yep. Yep. Gotta get rid of that energy. We just downloaded your connection to God. <laughs> we don't want this stuff in the way at all. 
Ooh, I love it. Got it. All right, good. So we got that. All right, so that was a good one. Give us another good one. Okay, uh, right side, left side, energy again. It's a lot of energy. It's all energy. Uh, right side, left side, post-traumatic, another one of these. To the right, to the left, physical. No, this is physical emotional shock. Like something happened that was so shocking that you like feel it in your body. How do they say it? Frequency that can become stuck in the body during an emotionally shocking event that is severe enough to exert a shock or extreme stress on your body. Uh, normally it's processed automatically, but it could be trapped in your body. Do we need to know any details around this one? No, we don't need to know anything about it. Is there something else associated with it? No. So whatever it is, if there's something that came to mind, I can test it for you, but we don't need to know. And like I've had this come up with my sister's passing away, you know, physically emotional shock. You just feel it, right? So we can release this. Yeah, let's do it. One, okay, two, three, just letting that physical emotional shock go. Thank you, God. Thanks for taking it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Some love. So we got rid of that one. Okay. Let's come and do six minutes. Uh, right side, left side, energy. Okay, to the right, no, nope, left. Uh, post traumatic. Okay, right side, left, a physical trauma. All right. Your uh, your subconscious mind is like, let's get this stuff out of the way. And our few minutes left here. So anything we need to know about this specific physical trauma? No. Is there an association? No, wipe it out. One, okay, two, three. <laughs> it's released. I'm, I'm chuckling because it could be any kind of any kind of trauma, right? What I, I know, I had it. My brother threw the basketball at my face, right? <laughs> it's like could be from any time in your life, you know. Like that was like what eight, nine, ten when that happened. Okay, so we released that one. But if the energy stuck there, it's stuck there and it's creating problems. Okay, something more. All right, right side, left side, energy circuits. Okay, on the right, organ, a gland, no, energy body. Okay, right, no, left, spirit body. Oh, thank you. Let's do a nice spirit body reset. Okay, spirit body, your spirit living in a body. <laughs> That's what this is mostly all about here. Some kind of an imbalance. So is there anything we need to know about this? No. Um, is there something else that's associated with it? No. So we just want to do a reset of your spirit body, your body, your spirit body, like the whole thing. Okay, you ready? One, two, three. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Okay, what else can we get before we end? Right, left, energy again. Okay, to the right, to the left, post-traumatic, offensive, something mental. Right, no, left, a will to, not so, a broadcast message. What unsupported message keeps being sent out there that's drawing the, the junk in? Call it junk, like the experiences we don't want. Okay, so... Where is this one? Is it in A? It's in B. Odds one. B one. Um, is the is the broadcast message? I am suffering. There you go. I'm tired. I'm forgivable. I'm lovable. I'm wanted. I'm loved. I am suffering. So we don't want to send that out because we don't want more of it coming in, right? It's a broadcast message. It's unconscious. It's just going out there. So do we need to know anything about it? No. Uh, association? No. We're just getting rid of it. I love this. I love how you're getting rid of these, you know, all this emotional shock and trauma, resetting the spirit, getting rid of I am suffering, no will to be powerful. This is too much. Yeah, this is good stuff, Eric. I'm excited for you. Now, let's release I am suffering. One, okay, two, three. Okay. So let's release that. Instead, you want to keep saying, I'm healing. Every single minute of this particular day and the next and the next and the next, I am constantly and continually healing and becoming my true self and able to 
move forward doing all of the things I would love to be doing. All right. So because you can't do anything right now, right? You're just like, oh, we don't want that. I want to move forward. I think that's key. Like some of these emotional things that came in, um, these energetic things, they seem to really tie a little bit of a story together where you can see how this can create something that's going to put you on your back where you can't move forward. So now, all right. So this, this is the last thing for today. What will it be? Something on the right, right side, no, left side. Energy, circuits or systems, toxin. All right. It's the first toxin we're coming up with today. And that's how we're ending the day. Right side, left side, dental, biological, food, drug toxin. Okay, something to the right, no, nope, to the left. So it's either recreational or pharmaceutical, the pharmaceutical. Uh, right side, vaccination, left side, medication. So it would have been a prescribed medication. Okay, now, do we need to know specifics about the exact medication that this toxin is left over from? No. Um, is it energetic? Yeah. Okay. So it's not phys uh, physical. No. So it's energetic. So the energy of whatever medicine was that could happen to the energy is left behind. Um, we don't, do we need to know? No. If there's something you want to ask, we can ask if something popped in your head. Oh, it's probably this thing I was on, but it could, it true. It literally could be from when you were a little kid could be for any time. So do we need to know? No. So is there something associated? No. So let's release this medication toxic that's somehow mucking up the works. Two and three. All right, good. Thank you. Released. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't I don't like leaving on a toxin. Let's see if we can find something else. Okay, something, something to the right, something to the left. Energy. Okay. Right side. Allergy or intolerance, emotional, a reverberation, okay? Uh, right, no, left, seeking heart, current symptom. All right, we know the current symptom. It's what you're going through right now. Yeah. Anything else to know about that? No. Is there something associated? No. So we're just going to release the energy of the symptom that you're going through, that you've just experienced, that you're processing right now, right? Let's do it. One. That's a good way to leave this this session. Two. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Three. And let's just load you up with a whole lot of love, right? Setting you up to be able to move through this setback, to be able to heal easily, get yourself back, feeling good, moving through life, enjoying each day as you go. All right. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you. So that's release. All right. So uh, I'm going to stop sharing my screen. All right. Good. So how are you doing? Good. It feels a little heavy, but I think I want to project my positive thoughts in. That's my hope. Let me just ask this. Um, so for what we're working on right now, how many days doing, there's a couple of questions I can ask. Actually, let me get back to here so I can just do that. With with what we're working on now, are we more than 50% complete with the energies that need to be released so that you can move forward healing um, well? Uh, are we more than 50%? Okay. Are we more than 60? Okay. Uh, 55. So we're like 55% complete, right? So we, we set up another session for Friday because I, I knew we we're probably going to have to do more more than one. And now, um, are there any trapped emotions that could undo the work we just did here today? No. Uh, any associations that could undo this work? Are there any associations that I missed? No. Okay. So we're good for today? Yeah. But now, how many days to process the energy that we released today? Is it more than five? More than ten? Okay, five, six, so seven days to process. But I'm going to ask if you can have a session in that time. Because we're set for Friday, but let's see if we can do that. So do you have to wait until after processing time before you can have another session? No. Can you have that other session on Friday? Yes. All right, so we can continue. You're just going to be processing. Now, during the processing, sometimes you feel highs and lows. 
it's like, oh, I feel a relief, but then I, oh, I don't feel, I mean, you, you might have that. Some people go through that quite a bit. I, I never really experienced that. Um, so it could be anything and it doesn't matter. Just keep sending yourself love, right? Do the thing with your hand. Like, okay, God, just fill me up with love. Fill me up with that healing energy. I'm open to it now. I got rid of some of that subconscious stuff that was standing in the way. Um, yeah. All right. So I'll see you, I think, on Friday. Unless you want to change that, you let me know how you feel, right? We can always do that. All right. Um, sending you love, Erica. <laughs> We'll just say goodbye to all of those who are watching us and that uh, we'll continue the story. I may not post all the video of all of it, but it just gives people an idea of things that could come up. Like, look at all the energetic stuff that come up. We went into the body a bit. I imagine next session we might go in there more. But right now, it seemed like your subconscious mind just wanted to get rid of this. All these energetic, you know, not denser energies, not these light energies that allow healing to come in. We release them, right? We're just bringing in light, bringing it in. I'll keep sending you light too. Um, so anyway, all right. Bye everybody watching. And...